Hello everyone, welcome you to Master of Active Directory YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to do offline defragmentation of Active Directory database. So you can see I have already written all the commands in the world so that I can copy and paste all the commands quickly. So I'll also mention in the description for you so that you can not find any difficulties so let's move to the DC first so here we go this is my DC so first what I do first I will create a folder an E drive ah, I have already created W temp W U temp you can create in any drive uh, with any name of the folder you can create a folder with the name of anything in any drive so what we, what we are going to do is we'll compact the ad database first and then we move that compacted database into this folder so let's start I'll go to my MS Word and here you can see start menu, command prompt, run as administrator. Okay, and then create the folder that we have already created. I have already shown you. Okay, so we'll start from here. Net stop NTDS. We need to stop NTDS services. Was open the command prompt type or paste uh, net stop NTDS. I will enter it is asking that stopping the NTDS service the other four services will also stop like file replication service Kerberos key distribution center in Interside messaging DNS server. Do you want to continue this operation? Yes. Enter. Now it is stopping. So Active Directory Domain Services service was stopped successfully. You can see this. Now we'll move to next command. Let me open my word again. Okay, so here is the next command. Don't worry, I'll mention all the commands in the description. So you do not need to worry. Enter. Now, this is checking the database integrity. It will take some time. We'll pause the video and once it is completed, we'll back again now you can see it's completed now we'll move to the next command and the next command is I'm tapping here semantic database analysis and, and why we are running this command you can see it is written it is recommended you run semantic database analysis to ensure semantic database consistency as well so I'm running the command semantic database analysis that enter in and go enter okay now you can see uh, semantic, semantic checker is completed we'll move to the next command we'll move to file maintenance prompt now we'll go to file maintenance mode for this just type q enter and here you need to type files tab sorry files and enter it will automatically take you in file maintenance mode now what we need to do is 
So now it's time to compact the NTDS database, Active Directory database. So next we'll come for this we'll type the command compact to E and the folder name. So I, I would like to tell you what this command is doing here. It is compacting the database and after compacting it is moving into the folder that we have created initially. So let's move and type this command. Now it's compacting. After compacting, it will automatically uh, move the compacted database into E drive and the folder WU temp. So it will take time. We'll again pausing the video and we'll back it back again once it is completed. Now you can see the command is completed. Now we, we see if uh, oh, here it is. The compacted ntds.get file is here in the E drive and the new created folder wu tam folder. Okay, now what we do is uh, we'll move for next command. My current, my current active directory database is in D drive. Uh, Windows NTDS. Here you can see NTDS dot get. All right. Uh, now I want to uh, do is I want to uh, move this uh, into the the same drive and folder where the compacted uh, compacted database is. So we we will just uh, type a command I'm showing the command can you see that yes hang on a minute we'll see in here okay so this command is move slash y d windows NTTS and e uh, w temp NTTS all dot dot so, so now what this command is doing it is uh, simply moving the current database uh, from D drive to E drive in the folder WU temp that we created earlier. And along with the moving the current database, it is also renaming the NTDS file. You can see NTDS underscore old dot dead. All right, so that it will not uh, clash because with this name NTDS dot uh, file is already exist the compacted disk compacted sorry com compacted database in this folder. All right, so that's why we naming the current NTDS database file. Okay, let's move. We'll run the command. Go to the server. Okay, so here I already pasted the command. Now I'm going to enter. Uh, it is showing error. Okay, first, uh, before typing this command, we need to uh, take out from the file maintenance mode. Type Q. Again, Q enter now. Now, here we paste the command and enter. You can see the object is moved. Now, let's go to the folder W10. You can see this is the current directory uh, path, the entity is the update file is moved and we go to WU temp folder you can see the two, two files 
available here. One is, this is the compacted file and this is the old one that we recently moved from the current database. Here you can compare the space. Though there is a minor difference, but the motive is how we do offline deep fragmentation. Now what we do is uh, we move the compacted disk to the current Active Directory folder. Now we will run this command, move e drive wtemp and ds dot get and where it will move into the windows entities and entities dot get this is the current active directory database location and this is the compacted disk and this is the location where we create the temporary folder wtemp so let's move and run this command we we'll copy the command here tap enter and it's moving you see it will move from here you can see it is moved and now here you can see the compacted disk in current active directory database folder now we start the active directory domain service net start nts enter Now all the services have been restarted. Now you need to reboot your VC. So friends, it is all done for uh, Active Directory offline defragmentation. Uh, friends, if you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of next video so please please subscribe because if you subscribe it will encourage me to share more and more videos with you so friend please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much